Welcome back, my people. I shall give another important message or advice to Igbos. My people, hey, hey. Like, eh, it is obvious right now that eh, this Ebru ha 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 protest for hunger crisis, that Igbos was the target. But I love the decision Igbos took. I can't remember the last time we hear from this man, Jakubu Gonwon. My people, recently or two days ago, he visited Tunobu, and this is what he said. I was criticized for being too slow crushing the Biafras, but I did it eventually, meaning that I started the civil war and I succeeded. My people, this is uh, something that most of us are trying to forget. This is a civil war. This man coming out again to open those wounds, which means something is behind it. My people, there's motive behind that visit which I want to tell Igbo that Igbo should be very, very careful from now henceforth, my people. So I was thinking that I'm only one that observing everything that's happened, which I believe that many, especially Igbos, you know, knows what is going on. So my people, Aisha, come out and say exactly what was in my mind. I say, oh my God. So I said, let me bring it here so that I can hear also what Aisha have to say about this matter. Let's listen to her and I will be right back. Dear Indibu, I don't know what is going on, but I think there's something that is going on. Initially, when I saw the number of messages, you know, asking Igbo people to join protests and all of that, I thought, well, I laughed over it, you know. It sounded so funny. Oh, now they want Igbo people to come and join protests when they said that Igbo people cannot be president and Igbo person cannot be president and all of that. I laughed over it. But recently, Seeing the whole statement that has come out from former uh, head of state Gawan, General Yakubu Gawan, and in terms of reference to the civil war, I think something he hasn't really done all over this time. I'm thinking, is it another game that is being played that probably a lot of us citizens are not aware of? But one thing that I want to say to every Igbo person, and please help share this message as widely as you can to send as many people, is to say, no matter what is said and done, do not be provoked. No matter what is said and done, continue what you're doing. Mind your business. I did a, a video message, I think some in, two, in 2022, for the people then who said that they wanted to show the Igbo people, and I said to them, if there's any region in Nigeria, if there are any people in Nigeria that can survive no matter whatever the kind of hardship Nigeria can think of giving, that it is the Igbo people. You know why? Because of course, they have had to, to see Nigeria at its worst. The atrocities that were meted out on the Igbo people during the war, it's, it's, it's not even fathomable. You can't even think about it to, to even understand the scale of it. And we live today up in a place where there hasn't been any responsibility taken for that and there are no apologies that have been given. And so no matter what, they can, they can survive it. The rest of us are the ones that have to you know, battle with things. And also the fact that there's no part in, of Nigeria that you go to that you not see Igbo people driving. And I always say to people, Igbo people don't drive because they have a special DNA. It's because they learn it, they work it, they go for it. They see where there are challenges. They see what can be done to solve those challenges and in the process make money out of it. And so that's what makes it, that's what makes it all, you know, come together. And there's also a video that I did some time ago where I said, as an evil person, of course, you should expect the hate. You should expect people not to like you because nobody likes an audacious person. Nobody likes to see people who have said, we will, go, we will do this thing and go on and do it and be successful at it. That's why if you go out of Nigeria, many people don't like Nigeria because we are audacious uh, people. So in the same way, the way Nigerians are to other African uh, countries that's how Igbos are in Nigeria to other Nigeria. You're like sitting down in your village where you're thinking nothing can be done, and you see this Igbo person comes in, puts in the work, get everything done, and becomes a source. So of course, haters are going to hate. Then potato we potato. So let the haters do on. I, I for me, anytime, any day, I will take the sources and whoever wants to hate me, let them keep hating. It's their personal business to hate. 
be on a more serious note I don't know what it is that is going on, but I think there's something that is going on. And that's the time to really be, just focus on doing you, focus on on, 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 on being great, focus on, on, on continuing to achieve the things that you are achieving. But I think whether it is in terms of, oh, they want to, whether it's provocation they, that they want to happen or whatever it is that they want to see happen, don't just even bother. Let people, let them do them. Share a mandate. Let them continue standing on that mandate. Let everybody, let everybody bear the brunt of it. And for those of them who voted out of uh, uh, tribal sentiments, whenever the any hardship come, let them just remember that after all, it is a miloko, it is the turn for the suffering. And for those who voted out of religious sentiments, whenever that thing comes, whatever the hardship of it, let them just say oh, it's Muslim Muslim ticket. And that should be okay for them. At the end of the day, like I always say, <laughs> we are all in this country. I will say the things that go. And one of the things that I will add to this video will be those other extras from those other videos that I've done before. Stay strong, go. Keep going. Keep shining. Keep dominating. And if anybody has any problem with the fact that you guys are so brilliantly shining, if you are nice enough, give them some shades. Otherwise, just increase the shine. It, it, they may be like in the last week or two, there have been a lot of posts where you see people saying that, oh, now the Igbos want our vote and they are doing this. Oh, oh now our region, we will do this. Oh, yes, now we will show them and stuff like that. Hello? A vote for Peter Obi is not for a vote for Igbo people. You understand? So this, all of this, uh, yes, now we will show them. And then some people saying that, oh, by, by February, we will shock them. You're already in shock. Who are you shocking? When you're voting for Peter, but it's not about saying, oh, it's about Igbo people. No, no, this is not about Igbo people or Christian or a male or whatever. It's about competence, character and capacity. And that's all we, we, the focus should be all about. Nothing more, nothing else. And if you think that you're coming out to say that, oh, Igbo people, these Igbo people, that, and you, would have, you want to cut your nose to spite your face, I hope I got that right. Well, <laughs> the joke is on you. Because I want us all to understand, in this Nigeria, if there is any region or any group of people, let me not use region now, if there is any group of people that can withstand whatever hardship Nigeria has to give more than any group, I think it's the Igbo people. I might be wrong, but that's my opinion. They have a lot going for them. It's one of, it's, it, should I say one of us the most economically empowered group of people in terms of diversity know that oh the richest man might not be from there the richest man in africa might not be from there and all of that but you it's, it's the kind of uh people that you know in terms of economic uh, uh ad advancement on a whole they have it a lot in terms of the economy of the nation they have it a lot hmm my people i hope you guys had what aisha yusuf said like, thank you so much, Aisha, for speaking truth to the power. Everything she said here is nothing but the truth. So, my people, even someone was suggesting, maybe what is happening in Nigeria now, all the calamities, all the atrocities, all the evil things that is going on in Nigeria right now, is because of how they are treating Igbos, that Nigerians should come out and apologize to Igbos so that things will start working. And this is the reason why they are kind of afraid that if Igbo man become a president of Nigeria, that Igbo is going to be very, very relevant in Nigeria. So, and that is what they don't want. They don't want to hear that it is Igbo man that finally make Nigeria to work. So my people, I say make I bring this update to you guys. I hope you guys had what Aisha said here. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about this video? And if today is your first time, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And I will see you guys in my next one. Thanks so much for watching and goodbye for now.